So when it's talking about hell, it's talking about one thing, it's dealing with condition, right? Because you already know in this condition, this is our hell. You understand that part, right? So when you saying hell, are you, let me, let me ask you this. Do you believe in hell like under the ground and fire and flames and stuff like that? I believe in God, the angels fell, they fell to the earth. Mm. And I believe their graves were created hell. And we have been lost hell. And that's the place not intended by our souls, but that's the punishment. Oh. Give me Isaiah uh, 5, you know the one. Yeah, you said enlarged hell, so I know where you're quoting from. So let's let's uh, get that understanding. Because what you just said, that's that's quoting Isaiah 5. You know what I want? The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Read that part again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So, Christian, why do we go into captivity? Uh, okay, so you understand that part, right? Read that again. Because they have no knowledge. Read it again. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Read. Because they have no knowledge. Because they have, what is this knowledge according to the Bible? Uh, uh, knowledge is Let's go. Get it. The understanding of the world or fear of God. Okay, we're going to get the proper tr uh, precept. Okay. That's, Read out. That's why I said iron sharpen iron. You need to come around. That's right. So let's see what knowledge is according to the Bible. And look, that's very basic, right? That's very, very basic. These got we got brothers been in like two months know what that is. The Hebrew knowledge is demon? Yeah. Okay. So I would I, I always deal with wisdom. Well, that's what do you think we're dealing with? Which is the fear of God. That's right. Psalms 111 10. Yes, sir. Let's see what knowledge is according to God. Read. The book of Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law. At his mouth. And the people, that's the day, we should seek the law at the priest's mouth. Read. Right. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So go back. So the knowledge of God is his laws. Okay. Oh, that's right. right. So read that again. The so book, that's what precept upon precept is. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 13. Read. You know? my, therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So just like you said, we went into captivity because we broke God's laws, right? Read. Because they have no knowledge. Now you understand. Because we don't keep God's laws. We have no knowledge of God's laws. Read. And their honorable men are famished. So the honorable men is famished, meaning they lack wisdom. Okay? Read on. And their multitude dried up with thirst. So the honorable man is supposed to teach the multitude like the priest's lips should keep knowledge in his, in his mouth. He don't have to understand no more. So the people that they're supposed to be teaching... They don't have no wisdom. It's the multitude is dried up, meaning it's, it's gone now. Right. They don't know who they are, and, and they don't know what's required of them. Read on. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself. Therefore, what? Hell have enlarged herself. Read. And open her mouth without measure. Jump back up the verse uh, the, the, the top. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Jump down. Therefore, hell have enlarged herself. Jump back up. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Jump down. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. So what is captivity? Captivity is hell. Right. That's what you quoted right there. That's what it's referring to. Right. We're in hell today. We're in captivity. Right. Right. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, that's what that's going into. All right. So when you're talking about burning flames, that's just dealing with the lake of fire. Okay. That's talking about those newts that's going to destroy this place. Right. Now, how did the place get destroyed the first time? That's why I said, Christian, you need to come around. These questions could have been already asked. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, chapter 21 and verse 1. Read. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. So the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. So how, how was the uh, heaven and earth was passed away? During the time of Noah? How did it? How did it pass away the first time? The time Noah, yep. Due to flood. Due to flood. So when you read in, in Peter's, how did he say he's going to come back this time? By fire. By fire. Yes, that's what that's going to. Who's 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 ruling today? Uh, the Edomites. The Edomites. Yes, sir. This is their heaven, right? Right. And this is their earth. Right. Because heaven and earth is just talking about rulership and captivity. Right. That's all it's going into. Okay. This heaven and earth is going to pass away how? 
a nuclear fire. That's all that's saying. Make sense? Yes, sir. I'm going to give you another precept. Go to Lamentation 2 to 1. Look at it out. Very, very basic question, Christian. Come to school. Come to school. Lamentation 2 and 1. Here's a precept they can use with that. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 1. Read. Read How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with the cloud? Read. In his anger, and cast down from heaven. So, read again. Most high was angry with us. Read again. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion? How the Lord covered the daughter of Zion? The daughter of Zion is Israel. Read. With a cloud read. in his anger. Because he was angry with us. We didn't keep God's laws. Read. And cast down from heaven. And cast down from what? Cast down from heaven. Cast down from rulership to what? Unto the earth. Until captivity. Now, go to Isaiah 14, 21. Read no, we, uh, yeah, Isaiah 14. Because you said something about the angels. So, you, you, uh, you talking about Lucifer? Talking about that Lucifer thing? Lucifer is a white man. I'm right. talking about the dragon. The I'm dragon, the great red dragon? The fallen. The fallen and dragon? And their children. And their children? Where you read that at? The fall, in Genesis. In the Genesis? Might, the mighty man of old. Where's that at? Genesis. Google it. You know where's that? The mighty man of old? Uh, yeah. Uh, you talking about the renowned man? The, the, oh, you talking about Genesis 5. Yes, sir. Right there. Oh, Genesis 6. Genesis 6. 6 yeah, start at verse 1. The book of Genesis, chapter 6, and verse 1. Read. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. Read. And daughters were born unto them. The daughters is talking about daughters were born unto them. Read on. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men. Who's the sons of God? You need to come to school. Yes, sir. Because you 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 lacking some some understanding. We're gonna show you what the sons of God is. We're the sons of God. That's right. right. The so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Indians are the sons of God. Right. Before before we became a nation of Israel, back then we was called the sons of God. Right. And I'm gonna show you that. Where you at? The book of Luke, chapter one, chapter three, and verse thirty-eight. Three. Which was the son of Enoch. No, no. Start start up. Where, where I want you at, Adam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Where's son of God? Uh, it go down. It go down. Yeah, start right. I don't want the bottom one just yet. Uh, what it says uh, Jacob down there? I don't want that. Just read that real quick. The book of Luke, chapter 3 and verse 38. Read. Which was the son of Enos. Read. Which was the son of Seth. Read. Which was the son of Adam. Which was the son of Adam. Read on. Which was the son of God. So we come through the lineage of Seth. Okay. Right. Right. Which is the sons of God. Yeah, give me that in 1 John 3 and 1. Bring it out. We're the sons of God. That's the lineage we came through. Right. 1 John chapter 3 verse 1. First John chapter three and verse one. Behold, what manner of love the Father have bestowed upon us Read. that we should be called the sons of God. We're called the sons of God. Okay. Uh, about the same subject. I'm going back there. Okay. I'm going back there. Okay, so the sons of God is talking about the Israelites. Before we became a nation of Israel, we was called the sons of God. Okay, so go back to Genesis chapter um, Genesis Go chapter six. six. Start at one. Yes, the book of Genesis chapter six and verse one. It and it came to pass. Let me ask you something, brother. You reading the book of Enoch? Uh, I do. I, I, I read. Okay, that's where that's that's where you you going off at. Okay, that's where you going off. That's where you going off. That's that's what's going on with you and stuff like that. A lot that that book right there. I'm gonna show you something. Hold that. Go to Acts chapter five, verse twenty-nine. Because you've been in school, we say leave that alone. You gotta. We just read a commandment. You gotta be around like-minded people. You, you you are commanded to be around people 
uh, and assemble yourself. That's one law you're breaking. Read that, Acts 5.29. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Read. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God. No, we, sh no we should obey Enoch. Obey God. No, did it say Enoch? Obey God. We have to obey God, not the book of Enoch. Read. Rather than man. Read. Then God uh, of our fathers. You understand that? We got to obey this Bible right here. Give me Isaiah 34, 16. Not the book of Enoch. That's not telling you how to get salvation. Book of Enoch telling you how to get salvation? Uh, not at all. Well, it, it, tells, it tells the story about a holy man according to the original scriptures of his of his works and what he, done, what he did and what he saw. We, re, we use books for historical purposes, okay? Right. But... Read that real quick, Isaiah 34, 16. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. No, the book of Enoch. Out of the book of the Lord. You got to seek out of this book right here. Read. And read. And read and keep God's commandments. Read. And no one of these shall fail. The book, the, the prophecies is not going to fail. Did we go to slavery because we didn't keep God's laws? You, you understand that, right? Bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. Read that again. No one of these shall Read fail. Read again at the top. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Stay and out of the, stay out of the book of Enoch because you come. That's going to twist. That's going to warp your understanding. Read. Read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read this book. Read. No one of these shall fail. None of these prophets going to fail. Read. None shall want her mate. You can't make the book of Enoch with this Bible. No, you can't make no book with this Bible right here. This Bible's saying what our demise was what I, and what our salvation is. The book, you ain't getting out of the book of Enoch. Read on. For my mouth, it had commanded. In his spirit, it has gathered them. The spirit of the men, of all these men in here, gathered all these books together. Right. That's right. where you get the Bible from. Now go back to Genesis. Uh, I ain't, I, let me just deal with that real quick. Genesis 6. Since you brought it up. Stay out of the book of Enoch, bro. You need to come to, need to, come to class and learn. Learn these basic precepts. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 1. Read. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. So you remember in Genesis 2, it said be fruitful and multiply, right? You got that understanding, right? That's what it's going into. Read. And daughters were born unto them. The daughters of what? The daughters were born unto them. Read. That the sons of God. Read. Saw the, saw the daughters of men. The daughters of men is referring to the other nations of people. Right. Right. Okay, gotcha. that's what it's going into. Okay. When you go back to Genesis 1:27 and Genesis 5, it's talking about the other nations. Okay. Well, actually, no, it's going to Adam, right? Yeah, yeah. So the daughters of men is talking about the other nations. That's why we went into captivity as well. If you read the book of Jude, that's why we did those captivities, uh, 400 years captivity in Egypt. Right. You ain't getting away. You ain't getting out of your uh, your slavery, okay? Because the son of God, that's interracial marriage right here. And God says, don't do that. So you keep reading, keep reading further. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men. Read. That they were fair. And took and they took them Read. wives of all which they chose. Read. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. They, my spirit that can't dwell, dwell with the sons of God. I gave my laws. They ain't doing what I'm doing. Read. Read. For that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Boom. 120 years. I'm cutting it, cutting it down now. We was we was living forever. He said, nah, I'm getting 120 years now. Read on. There were giants in the earth in those days. Why? Because of the, the sperm of the daughter, the sons of God impregnating the, uh, the, the, uh, the other nations. See what I'm saying? Meaning, meaning, our seed, yes. Made them. And the men of renown. That's what that's going into. Read on. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. The sons of God had sex with the daughters of men. Read. They bare children to them. Read. The same became mighty men. Mighty men. Through our seed, mighty men. Read on. Which were of old. Men of renown. Men of, we had famous children through the, through the other nations. Read. And God saw that the, wicked, the wickedness of man was great in the earth. What do you call it? The wickedness of man was great in the earth. What do you call interracial marriage? The wickedness of man was great in the earth. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Get out! That's what they're going into. 
Why? Because we're supposed to stay with our own people. Right. right. You got all kind of laws we broke in the book of Genesis. The law's always been in the book of Genesis. Right. Before we became a nation, before we came out of uh, captivity under the Egyptians. Right. 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 Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. Read. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Read. Thy, son, thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his sons. The sons of God, we're not giving our, our, our sons to the daughters of men. Read. Nor his daughters shalt thou take unto thy sons. And the daughters of men, we ain't giving our, our children the sons of God. Read. For they would turn away thy sons from following me. What's the reason? For they would turn away their sons from following me. That was the wickedness that was going on back in Genesis. Because who raised the children? The women, right? They turn away our children from following them to serve their gods, the daughters of men. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.